Hello scholars, and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be looking at the event known as the Night of Blue Flames from the perspective of several Windsward locals. I recommend watching my video covering Grenville's journal first for some context if you have the time, the link of which will be in the description. That being said, let's get right into it. An account from William Heron. That obelisk wasn't always shattered or so the people who arrived in Eternum before me report. The ancient guardians once slumbered, not but piles of bone on the old stone floors of their monuments. It was the explosion of the obelisk that awoke these old warriors, igniting blue flames around the island that cannot be extinguished by water or any natural means. Was there some sort of timer device? Did someone interfere where they shouldn't have? Further research is required. An account from Nina Rebus. I'm not the sort to write down what I see, for one day in Eternum is as strange as the next, but last night compelled me to put Quill to parchment. Outside of my window was a blue glow, unmistakably the blue of Azoth. It shone in and pressed itself upon me, stirring me from my sleep entirely. When I approached the window, the massive obelisk in the center of the towers was destroyed, Chunks of rock floating in the air as if suspended by wires in a stage show. I know not what this means for the future of the settlement or the island, but I am sure this marks a new era with horrors yet untold. I cannot return to sleep. Every time I close my eyes, I see Azoth blue. An account from Clark. It brings me an odd peace to walk the ancient ruins of Eternum. At least it did before the Night of the Blue Flames. That's what the citizens have been calling last night, the awakening of the skeletons that now guard the ancient ruins. Blue flames went up all over the island, I hear from the magistrate of the Weaver's Fen, who sent a runner this morning to report on the phenomenon. My suspicion is that whatever happened to the obelisk triggered a mass revival event for the bones we all ignored in our exploring. No longer will the coffers of the ancients stand unguarded, free for looting. We must warn everyone. There's no telling what else the Azoth explosion did to the land around us. We must remain vigilant, now more than ever. All three of these accounts line up almost exactly with the events of Grenville's journal, which confirms that his meddling with the obelisk is what caused the Night of the Blue Flames. But, that's all from me for today. As always, my Patreon will be in the description below if you want to support this channel. With that being said, I'll see you next time, scholars. Keep studying.